we want to graph this polar equation, we're first going to do that by graphing it in rectangular coordinate system, having this be theta and r, and then we'll put it over on a polar graph. So in looking at this, I see my period is 2 pi over 2 or pi. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one's going to be pi. So the middle one's pi halves, and the littlest first one is pi fourths, and this would be 3 pi fourths. Now I see the amplitude is 2, so I'm going to go as high and low as 2, and sine of 0 is 0, so I'm going to start at 0, and then I'm going to go to the max, cross, min, cross. So there is my graph. Now I'm going to go over here, and this is going to be a polar graph, and I'm going to put key points on that. So first of all, I'm going to start right here at 0, it's 0 at the pole. And then as I go to pi fourths, I increase to 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find pi fourths, which is right here. And by that time, I'm going to be out here at 2. So I'm going to increase to 2 when I get to pi fourths. Then in looking at my graph after pi fourths, I decrease till I get to 0 when I get to pi halves. So when I get here to pi halves, I need to be back at 0. Now I'm going to look at the next piece and it looks like the next piece of this goes negative and by the time I get to 3 pi fourths I'm at negative 2. Well 3 pi fourths is right here but I need to do the negative so 1, 2. So I'm going to be going around here and I'm going to be at negative 2. Now I can see that it's going to go back and I'll just leave that in blue, it's going to go back to zero. So then I go back to zero. Well, I didn't make one complete thing around this, so I don't have the rest of the graph. So I'm going to look at another cycle and I can see if I continue this on, then this one would be five pi fourths and at five pi fourths, it'd be back up to two. And then at 3 pi halves, it would be back to 0, and then it's going to go negative again as we get to 7 pi fourths, and then we go back to 0 by the time we get to 2 pi. So let's go ahead and put on this piece right here. After pi, by the time I get to 5 pi fourths, I'm out at 2. So here is 5 pi fourths, and I need to go out 2. And then I can see that I go back to zero by the time I get to three pi halves, so back to zero. And then I'm going to go negative till I get to seven pi fours. So seven pi fours is right here, but I need to go back negative. So I'm going to swing around here negative, and then we know that last piece goes back to zero. So there's my graph.